On this week's Valley Business Weekly, I've got a couple of great guests, uh, actually local gentlemen, that have uh, signed a New York publishing deal with uh, Morgan James. And I want to welcome to the show uh, Frank Deerdorf and also uh, Brett Ridgway. And gentlemen, first of all, how did you get the idea for this, this book? Well, the idea came originally from uh, Brett having a few other books, uh, one of, with that similar title, uh, 50 Biggest Mistakes for Information Marketers. Uh, and me being a web guy, I thought it would be a good idea, a good tie-in for his other books as well. And this book is called 50 Biggest Website Mistakes. Brett, tell me about what are, what are some of the mistakes that a lot of people do with a local business website? Well, I think the biggest thing that I see, Doug, is people have a website, but they don't have a clear idea of what they want people to do when they come to that website. What's the call to, gonna act, call to action going to be? So, for example, if you're a, a plumber or a lawyer or whatever, what do you want people to do when they come to your website? Particularly if you're selling a service or product that has a longer selling cycle, what are you doing on your site to capture their name so that you can do follow-up marketing to them, either via email or offline or whatever? And if you don't have a way to capture their name on your website, you're really losing a lot. And I'm sure you see as you, you browse the Internet and you go to different small business websites, uh, sometimes they just look to me like they're, they're glorified print pamphlets. <laughs> Uh, is that, is that kind of one of the mistakes a lot of businesses make is there's not a lot of ways to interact with the site? Yeah, a lot of times you see it, it's just as you said, like a glorified business card. You know, they just have a, a call me and a phone number. You know, there's no way to, you know, uh, capture their name and email. You're not giving them a report. You're not giving them something to do when they visit the website. And, you know, that's uh, one of the biggest, you know, mistakes. You know, they don't know what your service is. You've not told them. You know, you just say, hey, I've got a business. Call me, you know. Now, I, I know we've mentioned a, a, a plumber, a lawyer, who is this book really for? Or is there a certain type of business, certain size of business that ought to pick this up? It could be for just about any type of business uh, altogether. You know, it could be a mom and pop, you know, just starting something out of the garage or their home, uh, or, you know, it could be a well-established business. You know, there's several things that, you know, we incorporate in there uh, for them, ideas to generate traffic, to get more sales, or, you know, or, you know, keep people in interested in the site. Now, the book is available here uh, pretty much anywhere, right? You can get it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. You can get it at the site 50biggestwebsitemistakes.com. But, yeah, it's pretty readily available for folks. And you've got an offer on the cover. It says free exclusive members area. Tell me about what that's all about. What are the plans there for that? Uh, the members area is, you know, additional videos and additional tips or resources and things like that. You know, we cover several resources in the book. Uh, but the website would then, of course, incorporate uh, the, the places that they could actually find those resources, as well as additional training, you know, actual videos instead of just a paragraph or, you know, areas of text. So uh, not just what's printed in the book, but there's resources online that you can utilize uh, once you pick up the book. Sure. How big a deal is this to, to get, you know, Morgan James is a pretty substantial, how would you, how'd you land that publishing deal? Well, we have attended a lot of events over the years in the Internet and information marketing spaces. And during the course of the events, we got to know the owner of that company, a guy named David Hancock. And so that relationship really led to us being able to work with them on the book. And, and tell me, i gotta, I got to know how you got this forward. Pardon me? The forward of the book. Uh, multimillionaire Armand Morn? Armand Morn is how you say that. And Armand Morn? Armand. And Again, Armand is a friend, and any type of business success is really about relationships. And so these are people we've got to know at live events over the years and establish business relationships with, and Armand agreed to write a forward for us. Well, it looks like you're set up for some success here, and I know the local business community will be uh, cheering you guys on. Hopefully they'll all go out. What's the book retail for? It's uh, 1995, I do believe. 1995, okay. Yes. Well, great. Well, best of luck to both of you guys, and we'll look for more of these uh, 50 biggest website mistakes. You'll want to be sure to pick that up. And uh, check that out if you're a small business owner and you want to improve your traffic and you want to get uh, more results out of your website, right? That's exactly what it's all about. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. Thank you. To order uh, a copy of this book or for more information, just uh, log on to their website, 50biggestwebsitemistakes.com, website or you can call 812-478-3131.